Hello, super students. Welcome to day three of Microsoft 365. Today, we're going to be creating a flyer. So pretty simple process. Uh, we're going to be using Microsoft Word, the app, the online app for to doing this. We're going to use a template that's already pre-existing. And instead of doing a screenshot for your Blackboard assignment, you're going to upload the file you create. So the file, we're going to uh, name it flyer.docx, and I'll show you how to do that. So first step. What we're going to be doing all week and then next week is you're going to log into office.com first. So make sure you open your browser and make a new tab and go to office.com. Again, you might want to bookmark this because we're going to be using this quite a bit. And once you're in here, you're logged in, go to Word. And then up here, you're going to see where it's got this whole section at the top. Okay, these are templates. There's a whole bunch of them that are available. There's more we can download. There's more you can even buy. For the purposes of our assignments, we're just going to hit more templates right here. And then you get this whole big list again. Okay, so browse down a little bit. And then there's one right here called Event Green, Event Flyer Green. See, it's got the little windmills on it. So hit this, the wind turbines. So it'll open in Word. And this is a pretty simple process. We're not, we don't have to make this real complicated, but I just want to show you the process of how this works. So when you're dealing with templates sometimes, what you get is, you know, you have the layout and it's all formatted with certain uh, colors and shapes and fonts and text and you know it's it's left or right or centered or whatever so you have the ability to modify this but this gives you like a, a kind of like a, a easy way to start so if you want to change anything you see how you have these brackets here what you do is you mouse over this and you select all of this so from end to end so you select the bracket from left to the, to the right side and if you type anything in at this point say we're going to name it car wash it replaces the text that's there in the brackets with what you type, but it keeps the same formatting. So you see it's got this big green lettering, but we, we want to be centered here. So if we go up here to alignment and you hit center, we kind of want to center everything. Now this picture doesn't have anything to do with car wash, right? So we're going to change this picture. So click this picture like this. You're going to come up here and see how you have the dots around it. So you can resize it if you want to and everything. We can center it. Okay. As long as it has the dots around it, come up here to insert, do picture. Now you can upload a picture if you'd like. Uh, you're more than welcome to, but also the easiest thing to do here is uh, select Bing. And it, it's like an online search utility, kind of like Google. And then we're just gonna uh, type in car wash. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, it's gonna pull up all these pictures. Doesn't matter which one to do. Okay, so we're just gonna select one of them, hit insert. Now, if, there's, if it errors out for some reason, or it won't let you do it, just select a different picture, okay? Now, see, it's still got the little uh, dots around it, the circles. If you want to, you can resize it if you'd like to, make it bigger, smaller. You can also uh, modify other things and put borders on it and other stuff. So we're gonna leave this alone, so just click off of it. <clears throat> and then we're gonna come on down where it says event description. Again, take your mouse, the cursor, go to the far left side, click it, hold it, drag it across, let go, okay? And now this is a, you know, your event subtitle. So the description is, um, we're gonna call it like clean your car, right? Yay! And then again, we wanna center this. And then down here again, this is just basic, some text information. You can do whatever you want, but we're gonna select the whole thing and, uh, you know, join us to clean that old dirty car. We have the best soap in town. So I don't really care what subject you do for your flyer. You can make it whatever you want. You can make up something silly, whatever. But I want you to use this whole template, go through it, select everything, replace the bracketed information with your own information, make sure all that's done. And then when you're finished, you just turn this in. So it doesn't have to be complicated. I don't, I don't need it to be multi-page or anything. I just want you to understand the process and how this works. So, so event date, again, we're gonna do 4, 20, 20. And then see time, mouse over again, let go. We're gonna do 4 p.m. So you, you just, you don't have to do all these, right? I, I, can, I can erase these if I want to. And you can type stuff manually. That's the thing about a template, you don't have to do it, but it is giving you the option to do it. So we at least need to provide a little bit of instruction for the people to connect. So we need like a context. So we'll do like our phone number, 
Now see how the template's not there now? It's like this weird thing. Now you can come back up here under this and modify it like up in here, see? You can click one of these and it gives it that sort of template look again, okay? So you can format that way. So we want like contact information and maybe like a web address. Uh, you know, my clean, see again, you're getting basically just straight text here. My clean car. Um, okay. So you want to center this alignment, and then we're gonna we're gonna make it big. What? Now it's too big. There we go. Okay. So this is it. We're we're pretty much good. Let's jazz this up a little bit here. Let's make this nice. So we want this to be kind of bigger, bolder. You can change it however you want here. Okay. So this is the idea. I just want you to make a flyer, one page flyer. Change the title change the picture, put some information down here about the text, put some contact information in, you know, because in a, on a real flyer, people need to be able to contact you in some way and they need to know when the event is. Okay, so this is pretty much what we're looking for. Could be anything you want to do. And then once you're done with kind of the design work, you can see it's saved it already to OneDrive. What you want to do is click this and rename it flyer, okay, flyer, and it's going to be .docx, and you just hit enter, okay? Now, if you go back to OneDrive, click on these dots again, go to OneDrive, you will see your file called Flyer right here, okay? This is what you want to upload to Blackboard when you're completed. Now, you might have to download it to put it, you know, on your desktop or your downloads or on your, One, on your Google Drive, uh, wherever you need to get it from, from here to get it to Blackboard, that's okay. But this is the file that I need you to upload in Blackboard to show that you did the work, okay? And you can go back and you can re-edit it if you want, if you're not happy with it. But again, make it silly, do whatever you want. Again, to change the picture, you click on it, you get these dots around it, you come up to insert, and then you do picture, and you can do Bing, okay? And you type in whatever it is you want it to be, okay? Car wash. So yeah, I could change it, boom, it changes it, like just like that, okay? So that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions about this assignment, please let me know. And uh, it should be pretty easy, but real, be real creative. Doesn't need to be anything, you know, really complicated. Just make a really neat little flyer. And uh, that's it for the day. Have a nice day, everybody. See ya.